Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Choi and today I'm going to teach you on how to draw a simple schematic diagram on the intermuscular spaces of the scapula. And for this topic, there are a few things that you need to know. The spaces, boundaries, contents and the clinical application. Now first of all, I would like to start off with drawing a schematic diagram on a scapula and also a humerus. Okay, so as you know, the spaces are bounded by muscles and bones. So what are the muscles involved with this one? Yeah? So first of all, is this muscle here. So first, this is what we call by the teres minor muscle. Okay, next is the teres major muscle. Okay, so this is the teres major muscle. So if you see here, teres minor is at the top, teres major is at the bottom. So how to remember this? Minor is something smaller, right? So it's easier to float. So it's always at the top. So teres major, major is something heavier. So therefore, it's always sinking. So therefore, it's at the bottom. So there's one more muscle here, is this muscle here. Okay, so this muscle is the long head of tricep. Okay, so these muscles will create spaces in the intermuscular in the scapula. So what are the spaces? So here, so these are the first spaces here. So this is it looks like a rectangular, right? And it has four corners. So four corners, okay, means quad. Okay, quad means four. Yeah? So these spaces is called as the quadrangular space. Next, there's one more triangle here. Okay, so this triangle is called as the uh, triangular space. Okay, one triangle here and there's one triangle at the bottom. So this triangle is called as the triangular space interval so triangular space is the triangular at the top okay above okay triangular interval is the triangular at the bottom so therefore it create three spaces okay so for these three spaces here so you have to know about the boundaries so now let us first start with the the boundaries of the quadrangular space okay so if you understand this schematic diagram then it's very easy so first you look at the uh, boundaries yeah so quadrangular space is bounded by this one teres minor muscle and at the at the at the lower boundaries is bounded by teres major the medial boundary is this muscle here long head of tricep and the lateral boundaries is bounded by humerus or in more specific the surgical neck of the humerus okay so these four are the boundaries of the quadrangular space next we are looking at the boundaries for the triangular space tri is three so therefore there are three um, boundaries that bounded the spaces so the structures that bounded triangular space is number one the teres minor muscle number two is the teres major muscle and laterally by the long head of the tricep next is the boundaries for the triangular interval is bounded by this muscle here okay so this one is the teres minor muscle the long head of tricep and the shaft of the humerus okay so we have done with the spaces we have done with the boundaries now let us look into the some of the important contents of all these mass uh, spaces first we started off with the quadrangular space okay so quadrangular space as you know the lateral boundaries is the surgical neck of the humerus right so there are two structures that wind around the surgical neck of the humerus and what are they so number one okay these two structures that wind around so number one is the axillary nerve okay axillary nerve and the second structure is the um posterior circumflex humeral 
artery. So one nerve, one artery, axillary nerve, and the posterior circumflex humeral artery, humeral because it's wind around the humerus, okay? Artery, yeah? So these two winds around the surgical neck of the humerus, which is also the lateral boundaries of the quadrangular space. Next, for the triangular space, there's one more, there is one content which is uh, passing through these triangular spaces. Yeah. Okay, so these structures is called as the circumflex. Okay, scapula artery. Okay, so circumflex scapula artery. Okay, the name already indicates you. Okay, it's actually uh, supply the scapula region. Next thing is the uh, the spaces at the triangular interval okay so first to understand the contents we have to know okay so the, this is the shaft of the humerus right the shaft of the humerus there are two contents which is related to the shaft of the humerus which are first is the radial artery okay sorry radial nerve okay radial nerve and secondly is the Profunda brachy artery. So this one is actually has a direct relation to the shaft of the humerus. Okay, so therefore the content is the radial artery and the profunda brachial artery. Okay, so next we are going to just briefly describe some of the important clinical applications here. Yeah, so. What are some of the clinical applications? If you, if you know, okay, so this is the surgical neck of the humerus. So let's say there is the fracture of the uh, surgical neck of the humerus. So these two structures uh, has the high possibility to be damaged. Okay, the same goes to triangular, uh, the contents of the triangular uh, interval. So let's say there is a fracture of the shaft of the humerus. Okay, uh, okay so uh, especially at the radial groove. Okay, so these two structures may be injured, which is the radial nerve and also the profunda brachial artery. And another clinical, imp uh, uh, clinical importance is, let's say there's a surgeon who need to do a surgery on these regions. So more, they need to pay a, a certain, uh, they need to pay a careful attention so that they did not, in, uh, they did not damage all these uh, structures, which is the content of all these spaces. So next thing I would like to talk to you about, there's another um, way where we can um, understand the intermuscular spaces of the scapula. Okay, so I would like to draw your attention here. Yeah, So you just have to see this hand sign here. Okay, so if you can just imagine, so this is your teres minor muscle, this is your teres major muscle. Okay, so this one is your long head of tricep and this one is your humerus. So if you can see this one, it actually, uh, actually creates three spaces here, yeah? three spaces. So you can imagine that this is actually the spaces uh, at the scapula region. So this is your, so this one is your quadrangular space. So this one here is your triangular space and here is your triangular interval. So now there are two ways that you can try to remember. One is a schematic diagram and next just have to use your little you just have to use your fingers to further understand the intermuscular spaces of the scapula so with that thank you very much and have a nice day